Let's go rookie first. Okay. Let's go rookie. Sky Moore, his over-unders for catches this year is set. This is, oh, should I say who it's according to? This yeah, is according, yeah, yeah. This is according to Yahoo Sports Fantasy. So th- this is what all these offensive rankings are going off of here. So Sky Moore's projected catches are 59. Are you saying over or under 59? I need to choose. I'm not going to choose my words carefully. Pardon my French, but there's no way in hell that he's going to catch almost 60 balls this season. Like McCall Hardman last year hauled in 59 catches in year three in the Andy Reid offense. The Chiefs brought in two guys that might be ahead. One of them definitely will be ahead. Juju of Sky Moore. Like I'm not trying to say I don't think Sky Moore can have a good rookie season because I think he can. I think he can be effective. But to haul in 59 passes, man, that's a lot for any non like second wideout option, let alone regular option in offense. He's going to be behind Kelsey. He's going to be behind Juju, probably behind Hardman, probably behind MVS, maybe behind running backs in terms of total touches, like one or the other of Jones and Edwards Alaire. That makes him like what the sixth option. And he's not going to be the third option in the offense. He's probably not going to be the fourth one. I just don't see the targets coming for him. I hate to say it. Um, I also don't see the catches coming for him as a result. So I'm going to go under 59, nothing against Sky Moore. I do think he's going to be a really good player in the NFL. He's going to be a good number two receiver for years to come, but that year is not 2022. I 100% agree with your assessment there. I'm taking the under. I just don't think he's going to get that many. I know that there's going to be more targets to go around without Tyreek here. But they've added so many that I just, yeah, I think it's going to be under. I don't even know if he's going to get, man, I'm I'm thinking maybe like closer to 40 or something like yeah. that. Yeah, that but, sounds a lot more attainable. So, yeah, when the actual over-unders come out from Vegas, I'm going to be curious to see mm-hmm. what that number looks like. But I'm going to take the under there. So Sky Moore yards, they're saying 785. I'm going under on that like like if you just do the math and he hauls in 40 for 12 a piece i guess that'd be 480 and what did you say 780 785 yeah there's no way like that i'd take that under before the receptions even like both of those just seem super unattainable and i hate i don't want to come off like i'm i'm ragging on sky Moore. he's a good player and i think he's going to be a good one in the nfl but like for a year one player in an Andy Reid offense, who's not a top two or three wideout on the depth chart, if he somehow impresses in camp and is wideout two or wideout three, that maybe changes something. But in my head, he's wideout four probably right now. Hard to get that offense down pat. He also had the hamstring injury that limited him in mini camp. I just don't see it happening. So I'm taking the under. Yeah, I'm taking the under as well. I think that uh, the projected yards are based off of those projected catches. So mm-hmm. I, I think under on both of those is definitely the way to go. Um, touchdowns set at six. What do you think about that? I'm going to go under again. I, I hate saying it. He could catch four or five. I could absolutely see it because those are, we'll talk about interceptions later, but you kind of hard to predict. Like you just never know how those are going to come. Like the Anthony Sherman touchdown week one of 2017. No one saw that coming. And the prop bet for him would have been half a touchdown. And a lot of people probably would have picked under. So you can always get one big play for a touchdown. You can always have a couple things schemed up for you. Uh, Josh Gordon scored a touchdown last year. So if he gets a couple of those, he gets in a couple like actual normal offensive play, non anomaly touchdowns too. I mean, he could hit five potentially, but I still think under six. Yeah, I think I'm going to go under as well on this one. It will be interesting to see how he comes along as the year goes along, if he starts moving up the depth chart at all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that probably he'll stick to something around four or five. So yeah, I'll take the under on that one. But yeah, I agree with you. I think that he's going to be a solid player. It's just going to be tough to get the touches and the touchdowns as well. Plus, we didn't really talk about it. I didn't have any props for this guy, so I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil that one right now. But uh, Josh Gordon might be a red zone target. He might take mm-hmm. away some of those uh, looks there from that Sky might have gotten before. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the under. 
Yep. You want to go defense here or want to keep going offense? We can just keep going offense. We'll just push through this. All right, let's do it. Uh, let's go running back. Let's do starting running back, who we think is going to be the starting running back. Sure. Which you never know in this offense. So let's go Ron. No, no, Clyde Edwards Alaire. <laughs> I think he's going to be the starter. What do you think, Jordan? Clyde? Yeah, I do too. Okay. I think he, regardless of the split, like I, we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah, I yeah. do. I do think he's going to, whether I think that he should be or not, I think he will be the starter. Rushing yards, 903. So just over 900 yards. Is the I think he comes close, man. I really do. Um, actually, what did I write down? Yeah, I have under. If I did the math and my math had him at like literally 890 or something, I can't remember what I added up to, but like I have him coming really, 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 really close, but not quite hitting 900. I'm going to say under as well, but I think he's going to get close. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to be a little bit more involved in the passing game. Like we wanted him to last years. So we'll see if that actually happens or not. Um, But yeah, I'm going to say under 903, maybe 900. Maybe 890, like you said, but not over 903. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like that That over 900 just seems like it's a totally different ball game. Like if you would have said 901 and then you take the under, you say 900 and you push. I know it's a three-yard difference, but something about it just seems a little bit high, and I feel like it's going to come down to one or two carries that he, he misses out on that by. Yeah, totally agree. Uh, so I did total touchdowns on this one. I believe that they had him at six rushing touchdowns and two receiving touchdowns. So eight total touchdowns. What do you think about that, Jordan? I wrote down under cause he had five last year, but I might push actually and take eight. Like if he is a bigger part of the passing game, like you talk about, and I think he will be, cause I'm taking, I'm going to spoil. I'm taking over on 34 catches this season for him. I'm going to go push and give him eight touchdowns. If he gives you 900 yards rush, and I guess from scrimmage, you'd probably have, he'd have over a thousand scrimmage yards. I mean, without a doubt, even if he comes moderately close rushing the ball gets eight touchdowns, considering he's not going to be like the quote unquote featured back. They can live with that production. He's never going to justify that first round pick. I don't think Um, this wouldn't really be considered a breakout, but I think like on a per snap basis, he can be a little bit more effective, even if the snaps aren't great again, but I do think eight seems like a, not a safe bet, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll, I'll change it from under to I'll push eight. I'm actually going to say over eight total. And I'm going to say over on the receptions as as well, which is 34, 34 is the number that they have it for receptions. Um, I didn't have this down in my notes, but I just looked it up on the fly. They have him at 254 receiving yards, which I think he's going to go over on that. If he, I I just don't know what running backs average per reception, like what he does. So if he hauls in 40 balls for seven yards a pop, that'd be 280. So, I mean, he'd go over there. And I think that's, that's attainable because he has, when you get him like in open space, he has a little bit of wiggle to his game. Like he's not extremely elusive, but he can get you more than, you know, a swing pass that gets you two yards. He can get you more than that. He's going to have some chunk plays, I think. So I'll go over that too. This is optimistic Mark speaking here, of course, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm thinking he goes for 1300 total yards and nine touchdowns. So that's, okay. that's total yards and total touchdowns. So that is definitely optimistic. Um, he, he needs that this year because this is the make or break year for him. 